hello everyone today i am going to teach you to how to calculate the tree height using shadow method and this question is taken from the objective forestry so the question is like this what will be the pole height if the tree height length of shadow of tree and pole is given as 15 meter 25 meter and 5 meter respectively it means that tree height is 15 meter length of shadow of tree is 25 meter length of shadow of pole is 5 meter and you have to calculate the pole height so in this case before calculating the numerical first of all you have to draw here figure so it will become easier for you to calculate it so i am drawing here two triangle the big triangle is for the tree and small triangle is for pole so i am giving here symbol abc capital and small letter abc so the tree height is 15 meter so i am giving the tree height 15 meter similarly most of students are confused whether to keep the length of shadow to the hypotenuse or in the base so you must not be confused and you have to keep the length of shadow of tree or length of shadow of pole in the base so capital cb or the length of shadow of tree becomes 25 meter and length of shadow of pole is 5 meter so you must not keep in the hypotenuse as a length of shadow so for calculating the shadow method you have to calculate through this similar triangle principle in this way you can easily calculate the height of tree by the shadow me method it is also called the non-instrumental method in forest mensuration so i am giving here the proportion so i am converting it into the fraction now you can replace the symbol as the number so ab is given as 15 meter height of the tree and small a is the height of the pole and here the 5 on the 5 5 5 the 25 so now you can cross multiply it and you can easily calculate the height of the tree so you can see in the screen the height of the tree sorry height of the pole is 3 meter so in this way you can calculate the pole height sometimes pole height is given in the equations and you are asked to calculate the height of tree in this way you can use the same method and you can calculate it using the similar triangle principle i hope you understand it thank you